Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123 and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm selling on eBay this week. Now if you want to bid on any of the items that you see during this video, please do. Happy bidding. I'll put the link down below to my eBay page. So just go on that link and go to items for sale and then see what you want to buy. Happy bidding. Uh, so yeah, I've got lots of stuff to show you this week. Like seriously lots of stuff on ebay this week including lots of lovely clothes um also i've got some really old retro rare collectible board games so i'm hoping to make a bit of profit out of those this week and uh, yeah i'm just gonna stop rambling get started by the way if you enjoy this video you know what to do everyone please click like comment share subscribe to my channel that would be awesome <laughs> Okay, right, so the first thing I want to show you that I'm selling on eBay this week is this really cute little wooden circus, uh, like a little toy. It's so adorable. I want to keep it for myself, but I've got nowhere to put it. I love circuses, you see. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool, like the big top circus, and you've got your little animals and stuff there. So um, yeah, that is on there. Also, I'm selling these super cute bookends. As you can see, there's like these little owls. You've got the uh, the books and stuff, little owl teachers. <laughs> so, yeah, they're bookends and uh, they're so lovely. If I didn't already have bookends, I would keep these for myself. And they are also quite collectible because they're from the Leonardo collection. Okay, so I've actually got this myself, <laughs> but I'm selling this one that I found to sell on. Uh, this is a build and ride steam railway. Uh, so you can just build your own little railway and it moves and it's really cool. So it's uh, perfect for kids and uh, it's really good fun. Okay, we've got some now art for sale now. These are brand new and sealed uh, from Allura. Allura. Uh, they are caviar now art. And you can see they're like little uh, sparkly, got green, blue, purple gold, red, etc. And uh, you just pop them. I think you, you put some uh, nail polish on and then stick your finger in these and they go all sparkly. And you do like a top coat of clear nail varnish, I think. Don't quote me, but I think that's what you do. Do you like Disney? If you do, I bet you like uh, Minnie Mouse as well. Look at this lovely Minnie Mouse uh, giant cushion. So as you can see, she's big because compared to the size of my hand, this is her. So if you like Minnie and all things Disney, you'll love this big Minnie Mouse cushion with a big pink bow in. She looks happy as ever. <laughs> okay, also, um, I've got this little Polly Pocket here. Um, so this is a camping Polly Pocket. She's gone camping. She's got a little tent there, sitting on her logs. You've got, um, there's Polly right there. Just got little bits and pieces and stuff. So this is brand new and sealed. Polly Pocket is bigger these days than she was when I was younger. My little Polly Pocket that I've got upstairs is tiny compared to this Polly Pocket. I mean, she's still small. But anyway, that's enough about Polly Pocket. Also, I'm selling these. Uh, also brand new Aqua Beads. You just add water. And this is the Tea Time set. I've never used these. They look quite fun. So this is a theme refill. So yeah, you can make little, little Tea Time fun with these Aqua Beads. Okay, so I've got two handbags on sale this week. So this one here is my worst nightmare, but it is cool, if that makes any sense. I love the colouring of this bag. I just don't like the imagery because I am absolutely petrified of insects. And I found this bag and I thought, you know, you know, I might be weird being scared of insects. A lot of people do love insects. So, uh, yeah, you've got like butterflies and stuff on here, ladybirds. Oh, this is really weird. But yeah, this, uh, if you are into insects... This is an insects handbag. <laughs> um, if not, maybe you prefer a handbag where you're hanging your washing on the line. This is definitely more me. So um, this is actually really, well, originally it was a really expensive bag because um, it's from, look inside, by the way, how gorgeous is this? It's from, uh, hold on, Vendula. Vendula. Um, basically, there's a little boutique in um, Leon C near where I live and uh, their handbags are made, well, some of them are made by the same company and they're proper expensive. Uh, so this one, as you can see, has uh, the washing line on with all the clothes and stuff, got a bra, got a dress there. <laughs> one random sock and a pair of knickers um but yeah this is as i say originally very expensive but um unfortunately there is a little bit of problem here if you can see on the handle i mean look you wouldn't really see it. if you're walking along you wouldn't really see it um it's really subtle and there's a little bobbly bits over here but i think you know as i say nothing too bad is it it's quite it's quite usable still and it is cute do you play tennis i don't obviously <laughs> 
I was I, I used to at school and I was absolutely useless. I think the fact that I was really small and I couldn't really see over the net, that didn't really help. But anyway, I've got this uh, <laughs> tennis racket holder bag thing by head. So it's just black and white, it says head on it, and you turn it over and it says the power of you. Oh yeah. So if you play tennis and you want to put your racket somewhere, I've got the perfect solution for you. Okay, so you ready to go through these board games now? Okay, let's get started. I'm going to go through this as quick as possible because there, there are loads of these. Basically, here's the story. I was walking past this secondhand shop and, uh, you know, the ones that do all the old furniture and bits and pieces. And I just saw all these old board games. And I was like, wow, I wonder how much they are because I know for a fact, being an eBayer, um, I'm watching the kind of shows and stuff on TV, you know, things to look out for, antiques and stuff. And they always say, look out for really old retro games, right? Like board games and stuff. So... Um, the guy charged me like a pound each for these. Like seriously, uh, I was like, "Oh, okay, thank you." Because he obviously just thought, "Yeah, a load of old games, a load of rubbish." You know, who wants to buy these? And he gave them to me for a pound. I struggled home with these <laughs> in, in like rubbish bags. He gave me a couple of old rubbish bags, and I was carrying them home. But anyway, um, so yeah, hopefully I'll make a nice little profit out of these. I've already looked up on eBay to see how much they're going for, and there are some that are worth you know reasonable amount. Some are worth only a fiver, uh, but some are worth a bit more. So um, they're really old, like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s kind of games. Uh, so I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, we've got Spears Games, Travel, Scrabble. Now, I actually love playing Scrabble. I've got the original Scrabble downstairs. Um, very now and again, me and Nathan play it. Um, and we, we're quite good at it, actually. We, we quite like it. Even though my favourite word to do on, trav uh, on Scrabble is ox, because you get loads of points and it's like only two letters. Anyway, so yeah, I've got the original, very old school travel Scrabble. Um, I've also got this one here, which is called Fortune Hunter. The Parker's game of global enterprise. You can be a millionaire and buy lots of uh, bits and pieces there with your cash. Look at him. He looks a bit creepy, doesn't he? <laughs> I do remember this game from like many, many years ago. Um, I never had it, but I remember it. Ow. Also, I've got this one here, which is called Over a Thousand Question Quiz. So if I open this one up quickly, it's really cool if I can open it up. Come on, open up. Three hours later, Laura opens the box. <laughs> Come on, open up, man. There we go. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool. Let you, like, spin it. This gives me hours of fun just sitting spinning this. Waka, waka, waka. I feel like I'm a DJ. Anyway, so that's that game. Over a thousand questions quiz. Then we've got this one here. I love this game so much. Waddington's Cluedo, the great detective game. I always wanted to be a detective, um, which uh, I, I kind of am. I read, obviously, well, not really. I mean, in, in my head I am because I read a lot of thrillers and crimes. I become Detective Laura when I read those. But anyway, if you want to become a great detective, play Cluedo. Um, and this is the original um, uh, board game of it if I open this up I'm not opening all of them up but I want to show you this one uh, so you've got all your little bits and pieces here your rules what to do you've got your actual board here it was uh, Miss Scarlet in the in the kitchen <laughs> and look there's the little like weapons and stuff which is really cool like the candle the candle holder um, Reverend Green there's the uh, the dining room here, the little cards. Then you've got your murder cards that you put in there. You've got your two dice, your little counters and stuff. Detective notes, very important you've got those detective notes to write your notes down as a detective. Um, so, yeah, that's old school board game Cluedo. This is upside down. There we go, that's better. That's the right way up. This is Quandary. Is it Quandary? Quandary. Quandary, quandary, I don't know. Um, an easy to learn game, apparently. Well, I'm not going to be learning to play it because I'm selling it. But if you want to play it, easy to learn. Buy a Spears game. So this is quite a rare game. Um, see this doing quite well on eBay. So I'm hoping I'll do quite well with it as well. <laughs> and then we've got Numbers Up. Waddington's Numbers Up. There we go. We've also got this one here. This is uh, Skirid. Is that how you say it? Skirid. I love the box of this. Like really kind of 80s retro kind of look. Um, well, probably because it is. But uh, yeah, it is in French. But do not worry, there are instructions in English inside. So I was like, ah, I'm buying this and it's all in French. But no, there are English instructions in here. Uh, we've also got this one here, Brainline. 
I love the old fashion. Look at the old fashion. I think that's even what, 80s, maybe 70s, 80s. I think 80s. Um, but yeah, this is from uh, Pally Toy Broad Bradgate. Over they were a gripping game of mind power for two players there we go um and the other game i have here is chaos which is apparently a family think game get together with your family and think <laughs> there we go look they're thinking they're having a laugh joking aside though board games are really good for um you know playing with your partner or your friends family because it's just fun like too many people spend time on their own on a computer game or whatever or just watching tv no get your board games out Get your board games, get your board games, get your board games out for the lads. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. But do you know what I mean? Though? It's really nice. You sit together, you, you, you bond over a board game. No? Okay. Uh, so this is Finders Keepers. I can't remember this one at all. Thinking game where memory pays. I honestly don't remember this one. It's quite an old one. Um, and then we've got Battleships as well. Now, I've actually got an electronic version of Battleships. Ooh. And I've had, to be fair, since I was like, I don't know, eight or nine. And uh, it's the only game that me and Nathan row about. Me and Nathan love playing games together. We love playing together. <laughs> anyway. Um, but, yeah, whenever we played uh, Battleships, we always end up rowing. Because he thinks it's real kind of strategy and, you know, making sure you make the right choice where you put in your counters. Whereas I just think it's down to luck. So, uh, yeah, is it tactical? Is it luck? Maybe it's a bit of both. But anyway, we always row when we play battleships, which is really weird. Um, this one is called What? What? I always say that when my mum calls me. Laura, what? <laughs> I don't really. Oh, sometimes I do. But yeah, apparently it's an exciting children's card game. Um, I'd never heard of this one either by Waddington's. Got your cards in here and stuff. I've never heard of this one. Some of them I have heard of. Some of them I haven't. There was one other... I'll push these over here. There was one other game um, that I did get, but I am not selling. Um, unfortunately, as I looked up on eBay, it's the game that is selling for the most, but I am not getting rid of it. It's called Haunted House. Um, I actually put a picture on my Instagram the other day. Uh, if you want to come follow me on Instagram, please do. MinxLaura123 on Instagram. If you want to come follow me on Twitter as well, at MinxLaura123 on Twitter. Um, but yeah, I put a picture of Haunted House and it was one of my favourite games as a kid. And uh, I actually found that as well when I bought all these old games. But it's worth quite a bit of money, but I can't get rid of it. I know I'm stupid. Some people will be like, I'll oh, just sell it. But I just don't want to. Like, it's reliving my youth. Me and Nathan have been playing it and it's so cute. It's, anyway, it's really fun. But moving on from board games, I have uh, a brand new Avengers, Marvel Avengers Infinity War, Inflate a Hero. And this is uh, a little group. Well, not, not so little. It's 30 inches. It's quite high. An inflatable standing plush. Um, if I turn it around there, you can see him. <laughs> I like Groot. Look at his little cute little face. And there's a kid holding him. So you can see like the size of him. He's quite big, isn't he? Look at the size of his head compared to that kid's hands. Um, so, yeah, this <laughs> this is on eBay if you like a bit of Groot. And as I say, it's brand new and completely sealed. So, uh, yeah. Okay, right now I'm going to show you all the clothes, which means I have to get up and put all the clothes onto hangers uh, just to show you. Because basically I used to show um, my clothes in these kind of eBay videos of just holding them up. And people just couldn't really see what they looked like properly. So now... Um, I prefer to just hang the clothes on a hanger and then you can get a better look of the item and stuff. Obviously, if you still want to look at the item better, look on my eBay uh, because every listing, obviously, I put a nice clear photograph of everything. But anyway, so let's let's uh, let's crack on. I'll stand up. Oh, man. So this is all the clothes. Oh, yeah. So I've got to get my hanger. Just, I'll just use this one here. It's a, it's a hanger, it'll do. I'm just going to go through everything really quickly and just show you what I'm selling clothes-wise, okay? Okay, this is from yours. It's a size 18. I love this one. It's so pretty. Love the big, bold print of the flowers and these, like, sheer sleeves here, which are really nice. Okay, I've got this Adidas jacket, and this is for, uh, well, it's unisex, age 14, 15. So it's, like, a navy blue with obviously the adidas stripes on it it's official adidas jacket but uh i used to have one like this but it was black and white and me and my ex-best friend hannah back in the day we were like 14 or whatever and we used to wear matching um adidas jackets <laughs> we used to be like oh it's so cool we've got adidas jackets on anyway 
This is a beautiful top from Next. It is a size 18. Loving the pattern. Loving the just style of it. And it's really soft. Like the material is like super soft and kind of just lovely. So yeah, that's on there. This top here I could never wear. Not because it's horrible, because it's really nice. I love the colouring and stuff. But it's from New Look Tall. Uh, <laughs> and as you can gather, me being four foot eleven would never wear something for tall people because I'm too short. But if you're tall, uh, this is perfect for you. <laughs> this dress is gorgeous. It's so nice. So this is from George. It's a size twelve. I love this orange. I think the orange with the black and white just goes so nice. And it is one of those bodycon dresses, so the style of it's really slimming and flattering. Absolutely beautiful. I wish this was a bigger size because I'd probably keep it myself, but it's not. This is a size 18 top from uh, New Look, I think it was. Hold on, I'll just check. I think it was New Look. Yep, New Look. I love pink and blue together. They go really nice. The design's really funky as well, isn't it? I like that design. This is a monsoon dress, size 20. Like hippie, boho kind of style. Loving the orange and the blue and the brown and stuff. Really cool. Really lovely pattern. Lovely dress, this. Okay, so just before I show you this, um, it's like a shirt dress, isn't it, really, from Primark. I want to just quickly say that I've now got memberships available on my channel. Yes, I have channel memberships. Uh, so if you want to support the channel and also get some cool, awesome perks, all you've got to do is press the join button for more info. Uh, for as little as a pound a month, you can become a channel member. You get shout outs, you get to use the minxy emojis and badges in the live chat rooms and premieres in the chat rooms as well. Um, there's lots of different things you get, especially the early access. People like in the early access to videos feature you get to see videos before they go live to everyone else uh, so yeah please think of becoming a member it really does mean a lot to me and as i say you get some awesome perks so press that join button now anyway back to the show <laughs> That was like a random advert. Uh, please sponsor a Minx, Laura, one, two, three. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is from Primark and it is a size, if I remember, 20. Yeah, size 20 from Primark. As I say, it's like one of those kind of dresses, but shirts, like really long shirts that become a dress, kind of animal printy. What animal print is this? Is it like snaky kind of print or leopard print? No, it's not leopard print, is it? I don't... Some form of animal print anyway. <laughs> Okay, next up, got this uh, from uh, F and F, which is Tesco's. This is a cute little sparkly green jacket. What size is it? Oh, there we go. Size ten. Um, lovely colour green. Really love this. Very sparkly. I like the sleeves as well. They kind of like ruffle up a bit at the sleeves. That's on there. Got this really nice vest top from uh, Papaya, which is Matalan, like orange, blue, yellow. Really perfect for summer. This one. I really like this one. Next up is this Lipsy London dress. This is a size 14. It's really smart, really pretty, really pretty. Okay, next up is this top here. This is a size 18. Um, now, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of really love this top and I really hate it at the same time. I'm going to be honest. First of all, I love, start always with the positive things in life. I love the colouring of it, like the purple, the pinks, the greeny blue. I just, oh, I love the colouring of it. However, I don't like insects. I'm terrified of insects. And I think these are like, what are they, dragonflies or something? Oh, they're all over it. It would go perfectly with that bag. For the insect lovers out there. Look, you could wear this as a as a team. The insect bag with the insect blouse. <laughs> hey, look, some people love the insects. I'm not going to, you know. I've just always been really scared of insects. Sorry, I'm just taking my hanger off the top of the cupboard. Um, I've always been scared of insects ever since I was a kid. So, there we go. We go from scary insects design to bows. Even I'm not scared of bows. Uh, this is a size 18 top from select i miss select i used to go to select a lot and they shut down i think they're still open possibly uh in some places uh, in the uk but our local one in south end closed down so yeah can't go there anymore which is a, which is a shame it's a damn shame i'm selling these size 18 dark blue denim jeans these are from matalan there we go 
This is from Sainsbury's. It is a size 20. It's black lace, kind of flower designed, isn't it? Flowers in the lace there. And it's got like long, well, yeah, long sleeves. Actually, I was going to say three quarter length, but they are long sleeves. Just one of those little jackets you can just put over the top um, of stuff. Really goes with anything, really. Just black, lacy. It's a loud motorbike out there. Sorry about that. Um, I was going to keep this myself, but I've got one really similar. So I was like, now nah, sell it. Um, yeah, so this is on there. Got another little jacket here, but this is very different than the last one. This is pink and fluffy and uh, yeah, it's got short sleeves and stuff, but it's uh, from Peacocks. It's a size XL, I reckon 18, 20, something like that. Um, but it's very fluffy. So fluffy. Fluffy. I want to stroke it. It is so fluffy. <laughs> from George, we have this size 22 jacket, like animal print kind of style, I think maybe um yeah this is size as say 22 very very smart jacket this dress is navy and white with hearts all over it love 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 um it's a size 16 i can't remember where it's from hold on i think it's from george ah where are you label come here yes i was correct it's from george Okay, so this is quite the find, I have to say. I found this and I hope it sells well. It is absolutely stunning dress. It's so nice. It is uh, very sparkly as well. So it's from Marks and Spencer's, her uh, Twiggy collection. Um, if you haven't heard of Twiggy, she was a very famous model. Um, very, very slim model. And my mum used to love her hairstyle. Random fact there. But yeah, this is from Twiggy's collection um, from Marks and Spencer. So this dress would have been proper blooming expensive to buy brand new uh size 16 so plus size clothing so yeah that is on there next up this is a size 16 from south like a kind of rainbow ish stripey i don't know is it a top or a dress i mean i'm small so this would be a dress for me <laughs> but like i suppose you could wear it as a top i don't know what do you reckon i suppose it depends on your height doesn't it really this really lovely top here is from John Russia. Uh, another one that would have been very expensive to buy a brand new. Very sequined and sparkly, this top. And kind of just, I don't know, floaty. Floaty and feminine and pretty. This top is from George, size 18. You've got your purple, your pink. Very stripy. Do you have a baby? Do you have a baby who is a small size um, who wants to go swimming? <laughs> I don't know. It's an odd question to ask, but there we go. Um, so these are swim nappies. It's a swim nappy made by floaties for confident kids. And they're just little, uh, they're brand new, by the way. They're brand new uh, little nappy, swim nappy thing <laughs> called floaties. Anyway, everybody, that is the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you have, don't forget what to do. Please click like and comment and share and subscribe to my channel. Um, also, don't forget to check out my other YouTube channel, which is MinxLaw123 ASMR. On that channel, I make videos to help people with anxiety and insomnia. So videos to help you relax, chill, sleep and get tingles, 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 <laughs> tingles, basically. Um... So yeah, I'll put the link down below to my other channel. Uh, once again, I know I'm going on about it, but please think about becoming a channel, a channel member. Just press that join button to become a member of the 123 family for as little as a pound a month. Come on, it's a bargain. And I'm only a few members away from unlocking some new emojis. So, you know, you know what to do. Uh, anything else? Said all my social media, haven't I? So, hmm, just have to leave it there then. Thank you for watching. Please take care of yourselves and those around you. And uh, if you're going to bid on any of this stuff, happy bidding. Oh, actually, there's one more thing before I go. Um, I also sell tarot card readings on eBay. So if you fancy a tarot card reading or an angel card reading, um, I'd give you an email with the like reading results. You get that within 48 hours. I normally try and do it the same day, but it's only if something comes up or I'm not well that I do it the next day. Um, so for £1, you get one card reading. £2.50, you get three card reading. And if you want a week ahead spread, as they say, <laughs> of cards, uh, that's £5. But uh, yeah, if you fancy a little tarot card reading, um, just go on the items for sale. Scroll along and you'll see tarot card readings. I'm going to end this video with a little toy that I got today because I'm a big kid. Look at this. It's a dog and you wind it up. Thank <laughs> you.
This is entertainment, everybody. Oh, he <laughs> fell off. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this way. This way. Anyway, everyone, that's the end of the video. Bye.